Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and companions who are martyrs of Uganda today. Let us ask the intercession of these witnesses that we also may be courageous, especially during times of trials and persecution. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. I thank the Lord and I praise Him. I bless the name of the Lord when I was young and innocent. I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple, and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a grape soon ripe. My heart delighted in her. My feet kept to the level path, because from earliest youth, I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed, I met with great instruction. Since in this way I have profited, I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate 
and I came to know her secrets. I directed my soul to her, and in cleanness, I attained to her. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Please stand. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority? Are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you, by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. What is bad faith? What is the meaning of it? When do we say that we are dealing some, with someone in bad faith? In legal terms, bad faith means deception, fraud, fake. Kung pupunta kayo ng tindahan, ng palengke, hindi kayo marunong mamili, tatanungin ninyo ang isang tindera, sariwa ba tong isda mo? Kung sinabi ng tindera, oo, oh, sariwa yan, kahit isang linggo na, no? eh, hindi mo naman alam. 
yun tendera is in bad faith. He or she was lying. We have heard the gospel. The gospel today is a continuation of the gospel yesterday. And in yesterday's gospel, we heard the story of the cleansing of the temple. Jesus cleansed the temple of those who are dealing uh, things in the temple, making it a den of thieves. And today in the gospel, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders, the ones who are in authority over the temple, the ones taking care of the temple, ask Jesus, by whose authority are you doing these things? Sino ang nagbigay sa iyo ng kapangyarihan upang gawin mo ang ginawa mo? Hindi sumagot si Jesus ng deretsyahan. Ang sabi lang niya, sagutin niyo itong tanong ko and then I will tell you kung kangino galing ang aking authority. Tell me, is John's baptism from heaven or from human origin? It was a dilemma on the part of the chief elders and Pharisees. If they say from heaven, Jesus would tell them, why did you not believe in him? If they would tell, well, it's human, then people will get angry because they believe that John's baptism was something heavenly. So to be safe, to be safe, they did not commit. They did not answer. Instead, they said, well, we do not know. Did they not really know? They did. That was their, that, that, that's why there was bad faith. They did know, but they wanted to be saved. They played safe. Actually, this question of Jesus was his own way of inviting these chief, these elders, these Pharisees to conversion. Pagkakataon na yun eh, na ibinigay ng Panginoon. Inanyayahan ng Panginoon ang mga ito sa katotohanan. Pero tinanggihan nila. They refused the offer to be truthful. Why? Because truth will make them inconvenient. There are things that they have gotten used to. They don't want a change in lifestyle. And truth will lead them to conversion. And they were not ready for it. That is why in the Gospel of John, Jesus is telling us, truth will set you free. But the chief priests, the elders, refused the truth. They did not want to embrace the truth because it would mean conversion, a change of heart. It will make them, their life, well, inconvenient and they were not ready for it. They would rather sacrifice or compromise their values instead of facing the truth. Siguro magandang tanungin natin ng ating mga sarili, anong ipinagpalit ko sa katotohanan? Sa karanasan ko, ano ang aking ipinagpapalit sa katotohanan? Ang aking prinsipyo, ang aking values, ang aking pananampalataya, mas pipiliin pa ba nating magsinungaling kaysa harapin ng katotohanan sapagkat ang katotohanan ay maghahatid sa atin sa bagay na hindi natin gusto? That is our problem sometimes. We do not want to confront the truth because the truth will make us suffer. But the truth 
will always set us free. Today, we are celebrating the martyrdom of St. Charles Luanga and his companion martyrs from Uganda. They professed their faith. They embraced the truth, even if this would mean the sacrifice of their own lives. That is why we are celebrating them today. We are not celebrating cowards. We are not celebrating those who apostatized. We are celebrating martyrs who remain truthful no matter what. Let us ask the intercession of these martyrs that we too may be courageous, may be truthful, even in the face of persecution. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deed of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ eternal truth with authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the hearts of the world leaders may not be hardened as they hear Christ's voice today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those considering the religious life may seek to follow the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our blameless and holy lives may cast away the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Father all-powerful, we place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, Charles Luanga and companions, poured out like crisis to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, including Charles Luanga and companion martyrs, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
with trust and confidence, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of the, your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Maria, in 